next we have a heat pump vrf this is an interesting concept you see the term heat pump we are using for vapor compression cycle to use that cycle in reverse order no? so if i use the term heat pump means i'm talking about the vapor compression cycle but in reverse order the condenser will change to uh, this evaporator and the evaporator we are using as condenser means inside you will find in indoor unit you will find what condenser in outdoor unit will find evaporator if you if i talk about only heat pump but here we are talking about heat pump vrf so remember heat pump vrf is for cooling or heating but not simultaneously this is important compared with the next uh, heat recovery type so i can use only for cooling or only for heating for all the units but not partly cooling or partly heating okay means the cycle can reverse how exactly i'll show you this is interesting and it uses four way reversing four way reversing uh, valve and nrv so how exactly this line diagram will help you first let me explain this in cooling mode then we'll discuss how this system work in heating so you see what we discussed in now the same is applicable here we discussed this in cooling only now one outdoor multiple indoor and electronic expansion valve the same thing you can find in this heat pump also but how exactly it will work for cooling only or heating only that we need to focus so here on screen you see at this level first i'm considering this as only cooling so you see this blue color represent that is for cooling okay now i'm going to and you see this is four way reversing wall this one in there you'll find four valves so first for cooling mode for cooling mode i'm going to switch off not i'm no i'm not going to switch off it will means if i just two valve will close if i use in heating mode then this two valve will open this will close and apart from this for all indoors you'll find nrv and i believe you know what is nrv it's a non return valve right rest of the thing is same so first try to understand this heat recovery VR, vrv or vrf in cooling mode okay i said now any one mode at a time now so first cooling mode so in cooling mode you see this valve one and two in close position i'm writing here close c and c c is refers to close this is going to be close and this two is going to be open automatically this will happen automatically will not do manually the valves on and off will will do automatically oh, we can change the mode that is that can be manual but this operation is going to be automatic so you see what will happen you know the cycle start from the compressor and the same scroll inverter scroll compressor in, the, in this case also what we discussed till now the same thing is applicable here so you see the refrigerant start from the compressor you know and after that it will pass through this valve because this valve is open and this is close and after this it will enter in what condenser you know the cycle and what happened in condenser i think no need to explain so after condenser the refrigerant will enter through this nrv it will not enter in this electron expansion valve this is used for the reverse cycle we'll discuss next means for heating but for cooling remember this valve this electron expansion valve is totally in closed position so it will allow to pass through a bypass line with the nrv okay so refrigerant will pass after this condensation the refrigerant in liquid form the liquid form is allowed to pass through a bypass line with the nrv it will not flow through this ev this is going to be enclosed because we are talking about the cooling mode next the refrigerant you know the, the refrigerant liquid form it will enter now you see this is indoor one indoor two indoor two in room one room two room three and this this may continue like 10 units 20 units just for example i consider three units so you see it will enter through this electronic expansion valve the same what we discuss in the cooling mode only and this bypass line is for heating next part so ignore this so it will pass through the electronic expansion valve you know what will happen in expansion valve and the and the refrigerant with the low pressure and temperature it will enter in the evaporator and the return the same from this unit one from unit two from unit three and you see the complete return from this line you can check this valve is closed so this valve is opener so it will pass through this open valve and again enter in the compressor in between you'll find the accumulator which is used to separate the liquid and vapor etc that the same thing hmm. 
so in this way it will work in cooling mode i think no confusion right uh, now we'll discuss how this will work in heating mode okay so for heating mode let me change the color i'm using this red color so now you see in a heating mode this valve and this valve in closed position this is going to be in open position the cycle starts from the compressor only you see the refrigerant compress refrigerant with the high temperature and pressure to this line it will reach up to this point now after this point this valve is closed so it will enter in this through this valve to this line now and this valve also close so you see what will happen the direction of flow is here this direction is for cooling now the reverse cycle now. so you see here the high temperature and pressure refrigerant now is entering directly in the in the indoor evaporating and this no this will become condenser now in general you see in general this uh, in this unit we can call heat exchanger we are not giving the name as evaporator or condenser because the cycle can reverse now in cooling only we can say indoor evaporator outdoor condenser but in heat recovery or heat uh, sorry a heat pump or even in heat recovery we can call this as a heat exchanger because this will change so now this will become condenser why because you see the hot refrigerant with high temperature and pressure entering in that heat exchanger means this will become condenser no? and the room temperature is low in because we are using in winter because i'm talking about the heating mode right so room temperature is low and when the air is thrown on this the room sorry is this refrigerant loses the heat to the room room air and the refrigerant changes phase from vapor to liquid and at the oh. outlet you'll find same same cycle but reverse so you see you'll find the refrigerant in what liquid state now the refrigerant it will not pass through this electron expansion valve this is used for cooling mm -hmm. and remember this electron expansion valve in heating mode is going to be closed like this valves this is all in closed position so it will if it is closed means we have a bypass liner with the nrv so it will flow in only in one direction so refrigerant within the liquid form through this bypass line you can see the direction and same for all these three uh, now you see now it will enter in this electron expansion valve where it loses its pressure and temperature then this will become evaporator getting a point next we have next advanced type of vrf that is a heat recovery but before this some quick points on the same cooling or heating what explain for reversing advantage disadvantage we'll discuss at the end Let's